What is going on you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch and it's great to have you back for another product review. As many of you may know, I'm actually partnered with PCBWay and they've let me go through their module store and pick out some products to review. Last time I showed you that really cool IPS Nixie clock, well today we've got something just as cool. As some of you may know, I've actually worked as a bike mechanic for over 20 years at this point. I use hand tools all day, every day, and honestly I'm a bit of a screwdriver snob if I do say so myself. Now, at home, I've been mating the LTT screwdriver. I mean, this thing's really, really nice, fits in the handle. The ratchet on it is super, super fine. Very, very low resistance force. It's a great screwdriver. Now, when I was looking for recommendations for screwdrivers, there was one other that kept getting recommended over and over again. Well, imagine how excited I was when I found that screwdriver on the PCBWay module store. Well, what screwdriver was that? Well, it was actually the Miniware ES15 motion control electric screwdriver. This thing's got so many cool features like motion control, it's got torque settings, it's even got an OLED screen. All right, let's quit messing around. I'm excited to get this thing unboxed. All right, let's take a look at the box. So just disregard the little adhesive right there. There was a barcode I had to peel off, no big deal. But if we take a look right here, you can see uh, if we ever focus, it's got smart control, manual mode, has a 128 by 32 OLED, which is actually the same size screen as the Flipper Zero does. Um, it's compatible with 400 millimeter or four, <laughs> four millimeter hex bits. It's got a front light, which is really cool, and a 800 milliamp hour battery. And if we go to the back here, we can see it already comes with these bits, which are kind of your normal player. So uh, package includes a screwdriver, 24 bits, and some safety instructions, because we know how much we like to read instructions. All right, let's get this thing opened up. Let's get this thing flipped over, cut the tape. One, two, all right, and we're open. The big unveil, dun, dun, dun. Hey, it's our instructions. I'll put you like this. And yep, a whole bunch of instructions, and you can certainly read those if you want. Put that, actually, get rid of those for the moment. Oh, look at this guy. That's so nice looking. Let's pull this guy out of the box and get a closer look at it. Ooh, it's got a nice weight to it. It's really, really nice weight to it. I mean, it's not super heavy, but it feels like it's a quality piece of engineering right here. So let's put this down right now and see what else is inside the box. Okay, let's pop this out of here. Come here. Oh, cool, I made a huge mess out of all the bits. <gasps> Idiot. Let me fix that real quick off camera. Well, that was dumb. I won't do that again but we can actually take the foam right out. Watch me, actually watch me do it again. Nope, we're good. There we go. If we take a quick look back at the back of the box, you can actually see that it does come with most of the things that you're gonna need to take apart, really most electronics and phones and stuff like that. So very, very useful to have that. All right, so let's take a look at the screwdriver itself again. Let's do the ever so popular screen pull. Ah, stuck my finger. And what's nice about this as well, it's a USB-C. So I know the earlier version of this actually was a micro USB and micro USB is just awful. All right, so let's give it a little push and see if it turns on. I'm not sure if the battery's charged or not. And which button do we push to turn on? This is what happens when you don't read the instructions, kids. All right, it looks like we need to charge this guy up a little bit. So let me plug it in and take a look. Okay, now that we've liberated this USB cable, let's plug this guy in. Eh, there we go. And take a look. Okay, there we go. Turning on. There we go. Long press set to unlock. Okay, do that. Hey, there we go. Finally, we're charging. It's hard to see with the OLED because it's always super bright, but really cool. Let me give this a few minutes to charge up and we can take another look. Was that fun or what? What? Now, well, back to our show. So now that I've got this thing charged up and ready to go, it's super cool. So if we hold down this button right here, it lights up the front end and actually that is what enables the gyro. So if I turn it slowly, it'll turn slowly. If I turn it the other way, it'll turn the other way. If I turn it fast, it'll turn even faster. That's such a time saver. This is really, really cool. All right, let's take a look through the settings. So I did take the time to read the manual now that I was waiting for it to charge. But if we turn it back on, hello, there we go. So if we press the set button, 
what it's doing is it's changing the torque set on this. So the higher the number, the higher the torque. If we long press the settings, it's gonna go into the actual settings. So this has variable speed. So if you use the, the same button that you use to actually actuate it, you can change the speed. So I'm gonna set the speed, I guess right in the middle. So we've got what, three, one, two, three, yeah. Three speed settings, let's go right in the middle. Sensitivity, low, medium, and high. I'm gonna go with low sensitivity. That's gonna be how much torque or how much turn of the screwdriver it's gonna take for uh, the thing to actually work. Then we have our impact setting. Impact, it works kind of like a hammer drill, so it's gonna be like do 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 <laughs> It's really hard to demonstrate, but um, it's for like breaking out really tight stuff, or I mean, I guess, I don't really know the application for an impact on something like this, so for now, I'm gonna leave that off. Now, this is a really cool feature. I had to look up what it did, but what Retreat does is as it's driving like a, a hex bit, it will actually drive and then it will retract. It'll turn back just a little bit. What happens a lot of times on things like hex bits is that the actual driver head gets kind of stuck as it rotates and locks in. So it will just unstick it, turn it back, and then you should be able to not have the bit get stuck in every single um, hex or Allen bit that you don't do with it. That's a really cool feature. Then we have our light setting. I'm gonna leave the light on because obviously it's easier to see things and I can't imagine it really uses that much battery. We have the backlight so we can just change the brightness of the OLED backlight. I'm turning on all the way bright just because, I don't know, I like bright stuff. Beep, you can't hear it. There's no way you're gonna be able to hear it unless you can. The beep, it makes a really quiet beep as you press the button. I'll leave that on too because I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. Language english uh yep i only speak english and um the battery mode so this has a battery saver mode so it'll go into low power mode if the battery is dying so that's a pretty nifty function i've heard you can get up to three hours of actual screwing out of this thing and uh yeah it's that's actually really good battery life okay so let me find something to screw with this thing that's what she said not a good one you're on fire all right, let's clear some room. I don't need the charging cable anymore. I've got a multimeter. I figure why not unscrew some stuff on here? This will work just fine for our example. Move all this stuff out of the way. And what do I need? These are just Phillips heads. So pop the tip off, drop you down here. And what's a good Phillips head? Let's see, this guy looks like I'm a good match. Oh, uh, nope, not a good match. Smaller. What about you? Way too small. Bigger? There it is, there it is. Because this is an electric screwdriver, you definitely want to make sure you pick the right bit. I mean, it's kind of an obvious thing for any screwdriver, but you don't want to strip out things. All right, so let's give it a go. I'm going to set my torque a little bit higher since I'm loosening. And... Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, just a little bit of torque on there, and wow, it just breaks right free and takes them right out. Um, let me turn the speed up a little bit. Let's go to, whoops, let's not change the torque. Uh, let's see, speed, let's go all the way fast. Whoops, let's see what happens. And. Okay, yep, I see what people were talking about. This is very, very, very cool. Let's uh, put them back down. Let me see, uh, I'm gonna set the torque a little bit lower because I these are just plastic. So these screws just screw into plastic. I don't want to completely ruin this. So let's set torque at one, and let's just see what it does. Got my light. Whoops, stop screwing already. Oh, it's already, I'm trying to figure out why it's not working. That's one torque, that just stopped. So let's go to three, see how far we go here. Ooh, that's like perfect. That stopped right where I wanted it to, so let's do another three let's all right I I definitely definitely see the appeal of this thing and I think this might be my main screwdriver for now well since we're playing around actually let me uh, let me see what the uh, impact function does let's go back to impact that was off let's turn it back on so get our thing lined up and then Okay, it does a really, really low level impact where it's just like kind of jittering at it. I can see it being useful for this that doesn't really need it, but let's put this last screw back in. Oh, I turned the torque down. Here we go. Oh, there it is. That's in there. Man, that's cool. It's so fast. Like, I'm going to take all the screws out. This is great, great video, but I'm just having fun. So, one, two... 
three, four, even grab the one right in the middle here for fun. There we go. Boom. And then we can put him back in. Editing Sasquatch. Yeah, it goes on like this for a while, so I don't know why I felt like I needed to screw and unscrew so many things. I think I was just messing around, but yeah, nobody needs to see that. Yeah, I'm literally just going to be playing with this, like, screwing and unscrewing things. Told ya. And how tight did I actually put these? Now I have it in just manual mode. Oh yeah, that's definitely, like, tight enough for, you know, whatever you're doing with it. So, man, this thing's awesome. And what's also cool about it, and you can't really hear, let's see if I can hold it up to my microphone. I doubt you can hear that, but it's really quiet. I know I heard that the generation before this kind of sounded like a dental drill, but this thing's quite quiet. Oh man, I really can't say enough good things about it. It's, you know, metal construction, it's very sturdy. It feels like, you know, a quality piece of equipment. Really, really, really cool. Another really nice thing to know is just like before, you can buy these on Amazon for $120, but they're actually on PCBWay for only $89. And they do ship from China usually, but it's really fast. I mean, I get these within a week, so. I mean, don't let shipping times really bother you. It's absolutely worth every penny for these. So yeah, that is the Miniware ES15 motion control electric screwdriver. It is every bit of everything anybody ever said it was. It was all of the hype. I see why people kept recommending it over and over again. Now, I know this thing is not an inexpensive screwdriver for any means, but when you think about it, I spent $70 on the LTT screwdriver. Only $10 more gets you a very capable screwdriver. Now, it's not going to replace a full-size screwdriver because they're just some things that you need a big, chunky screwdriver to really deal with. However, what it's going to replace is going to be my iFixit Mako. Now, this thing was a great screwdriver. I use it for PC building and small repair stuff, but I mean, compared to this, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. Plus, what's great is that all these bits fit in the ES15 as well. So, yeah, again, this I'll never use this driver ever again. I want to thank PCBWay so much for the opportunity to let me review this product. Now, I do go through the module store and cherry pick items I want to do reviews on. However, my reviews are totally unbiased. If I thought this thing was overpriced and not worth the money, I would tell you. And quite honestly, I'd rather not do a review whatsoever than give false advice about something. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and thanks again PCBWay. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you want me to cover anything, just leave it in the comments down below. I absolutely appreciate each and every one of you guys. We'll catch you next time.